All right, it's another time, and guess what? Back up here at Santiago Peak. Sorry, no, no drive montage this time. Because it is this time to do this project. Uh, well, okay, so you saw the other project where we took the rack that's over here and pushed that towards the back, put some of the support equipment in there, and um, basically and making it ready for use temporarily while we deal with the rest of the racks. Now, today's project is going to be moving the transmitter that's in here into that rack because this transmitter has, <laughs> I know I'm just pointing back and forth, this transmitter has a web interface in it. So if I need to uh, get into it and do control or I need to look at the meter readings, I can do that from the office just by opening up a browser window and going to it, technically. There's more detail on that. See, that's the problem with being an engineer. There's a lot of technicalities. Okay, moving on. Sorry, I'm a little hyper today, and that means I'm gonna talk a little bit faster. So, we move that in there, which means we gotta take this site down for a short time while I pull the transmitter out, pull the rails off, put the rails in there, put the transmitter in there, and then I have, um, I have coax cable, jumper here, that we will use Day, that I'll use to jump the transmitter straight into the filters that goes out to the antenna. All right, that's the game plan for today. Let's see how far we can get. Hopefully we can do that. And the secondary is going to be starting to remove equipment from here um, and piling it up over here in the backside of the, of the uh, building. So that way next week we can come and pull these racks out and then the week after that, bring the new rack in. This is exciting. This project is really starting to happen. Oh, I can't wait for this project to be in a better place than it is right now. All right, let's get to work. First things first though, before we turn off this transmitter, I need to turn on the transmitter at our backup facility in San Clemente. So let me uh, break out the computer and uh, log in and do that. Okay, I just called the studio, let them know that I'm going to be switching to San Clemente. And um, all right, let's do this. Let us do this. RF on. Yes, really, turn RF on. Oh, it's on. Okay. Now turn this off. Okay, that transmitter's off. We are running off of San Clemente. Do you hear a difference? No, I do not. That's good, I guess. No, I still hear it clear. Okay, cool. All right, thanks, Ron. Okay. All right, I'm at the back of the transmitter now, and uh, we're gonna unplug things, uh, turn things off, and uh, get ready to move over to the new rack. All right, shutting things off. Okay, pulled the power. I don't have a plug for this in that temporary rack. <sighs> okay, well, that's gonna make this a lot more difficult to do today. In fact, it's going to make it impossible to do today. So, I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just stretch from the temp rack over to here and then just start pulling stuff off, pulling stuff out. That's really frustrating. That is really, really frustrating um, because I thought we put the right plug here. There is a box there for it, but the problem is, is that that box is not hooked up. All right, that was kind of a bust. 
just put this transmitter back on the air. Um, all right, fine. I'm a little cheesed at that. So plan B, let's uh, move the uh, microwave uh, data over to the temporary rack and let's move the network switch over there um, so that way at least at least we've got something uh, moved over there um, and then I can basically turn off these whole racks and and pull them out pull all, pull the stuff out so all right let's let's get that done let's see so this cable is for the microwave, the data microwave, and that's how I get the a lot of my data from up here back down to the studio. And that's also how I get the camera up on the tower back down out to YouTube. Say goodbye to the uh, camera for a little while. I apologize, but it must be done. like it's just too uh, too tight this is silly Woo, caught that did you see that caught it all right okay so I've got the switch in I've got the network switch in Got the microwave. Um, I'm gonna have to reconfigure the switch a little bit because I don't remember what ports go to what. So let that thing boot up for like another 10 minutes or whatever it is. Cisco switches take a long time to boot up. It's a smart switch, it's a managed switch, but. All right, here it is. Here's the microwave cable. Doesn't have to look pretty, just has to get the job done. That's just for this temporary rack, not for the real rack. Main transmitter should be port one. All right, well, it looks like I'm up and running now. Logging into the transmitter. Woohoo! Excellent, excellent. And it has nothing to do with this. This, done with that done with you so all of this I need to put this disclaimer in okay this is very important this disclaimer this and the workmanship that you see here with this is all temporary this should last no more than two weeks because in two weeks from today that new rack will be inside here. Okay, maybe two and a half weeks because it's gonna take me time to get that rack, the new rack set up and ready. But this is all temporary. So don't take this as an example of how to do it or my workmanship, please. So for today, that's as far as I can get. Um, we're, I moved the microwave stuff over to this rack um, the data microwave is over here, the switch, the PoE switch as well for the inside security camera. Um, I've got my airport, so that way I've got data and network while I'm in here. Because there's no cell coverage up here. And then, yeah, that's about it. I was hoping to get the transmitter moved over, but that didn't work. Oh well, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, but hopefully next Tuesday, I'll be back up here with Monty, our electrician from Great White Electric. And he will be over here to basically demo the power out of that. So we'll be able to get the power correct over here to be able to move the transmitter over here. But tomorrow, plan is I come back up and I remove everything that I can 
from that rack, from all those racks. And I will label cables, I will label everything that I can. We'll stack it over here nice and neatly and we'll go from there. And then next Wednesday, so here's, here's, here's the plan. Today, I was hoping to get this rack up and running so that way I could completely empty out those racks. That didn't work. So plan B-ish is, so I got almost everything moved over here. So tomorrow I will come up, pull everything out of that rack, uh, stack it, labeled cables, tie cables off uh, so that way we've got them in a good spot. And then we'll be back up here on Tuesday with Monty, Great White Electric, and they will finish my power over here, put the right plug over here. Sorry guys, my fault. Put the right plug over here. We'll cut all the power over to this rack, move the transmitter over to this rack, and then they will begin removing the power from these racks. And then once that's done, the following day, that Wednesday, uh, I will be coming up here with Chad and probably Mark. We'll be bringing three trucks, two others other than mine, and we'll unbolt these racks, pull them out, load them up into the trucks, take them down to the warehouse. And then the following Wednesday, so a week, two weeks from today, the company Andy's Towing, Andy's Towing and Storage? No, Andy's, Andy's Transfer and Storage, sorry, Andy's Transfer and Storage will be picking up the new rack from our warehouse and driving it all the way up here and setting it in place. So, uh, this project is moving and moving fast. And then at that point, uh, Monty will come in, he'll put in power, shortly after that to put power into the three, uh, three bays of the new rack. And then I will come in, mount our equipment. Some of the stuff that, we're, that we have, that we put off here that I unloaded from this, will go back into the new rack. And then some of the equipment will go home. It just, yeah. Um, and then I'll wire all that up. That'll probably take me a few days. And then by June 1, hopefully, as they say, Lord willing, the creek don't rise. June 1, we'll be on the new rack. And I won't have to worry about rats and mice and dust and spiders inside my equipment again. That's the plan. We'll see how that goes. Okay, well then, see you tomorrow. Thanks for being a part of this channel. Thanks for watching. And uh, hello to Sean and Renault. Got to meet those guys up here at Santiago Peak uh, this morning when I got up here. So that was kind of neat. Um, so hello, good to, good to meet you. Um, that's kind of, kind of neat. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, in case this is a standalone video, and uh, I will see you in the next video because um, tomorrow I'm supposed to come back up here and continue working on that. So I don't know if I'll make it a second video. I think I might just make it one. So immediately after this, you're going to see next. <laughs> Anyways, if not, see you in the next video. Stay safe and stay healthy.